Hello, my name is Ricardo Ferreira with Avaya Global Support Services Backbone Team. On this video, we're going to take a look to the steps on how to backup Avaya Aura Communication Manager messaging to an external server. I logged into the Avaya Aura Communication Manager and Communication Manager Messaging Web Interface. On the Administration menu, click Server Maintenance. Now scroll down to the Data Backup Restore section and click on Backup Now. Since we want to backup Communication Manager messaging information, we need to make sure the Specified Datasets option is selected. Please note that a full backup does not include any of the messaging datasets. Then select the checkbox for messaging. Please note that this checkbox is only available if Communication Manager messaging is installed on Communication Manager. Now select the desired datasets that you want to backup. For example, messaging, translations, names, and messages. Then scroll down to the backup method section. Here we can select the method we're going to use to communicate with the external server. We have the option to select SCP, FTP, SFTP as a protocol that Communication Manager Messaging will use to transfer the backup files over to the external server on our network. Then enter the account and password that we'll use to establish the connection. This account needs to have read-write permissions on the remote location. Then enter the hostname or IP address of our external server. Also, enter the complete directory path where the backup will be stored within our external server. This is usually root, specified with a forward slash. Depending on the system usage, a backup of Communication Manager messaging could reach several gigabytes of space and split on multiple files, so make sure your remote location has enough space to accommodate them. Then, when you're ready, click Start Backup. Communication Manager Messaging downloads and processes each backup file sequentially before downloading the next backup file in the dataset. The system will calculate how many files will be generated, the approximate space required for the backup, and the approximate time that will, it will take to complete the task. You will be able to see this information on the screen. Also, the page will refresh automatically, displaying the backup progress. After a few minutes, the page will either show the backup succeeded or failed. In the case of a failure, the screen will show more details on the reason why it failed, for example, the space on the remote location, or maybe the account provided doesn't have enough permissions. You can use this information to contact Avaya support for further assistance. Now here we have successfully completed our communication manager messaging backup. Thank you for your time today. We welcome any comments, questions or feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.